Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you another review, this time of a Halo Mega Block set, the brand new Covenant Watchtower. This is set number DKT68. It has 239 pieces and retails for around 20 to 25 pounds. So despite being in Halo 5 packaging for this year, this is in fact a Halo 4 based set. It is the watchtower from that game, as there are no watchtowers in Halo 5. Uh, you get a soldier spartan with it, a nice painted uh, covenant plasma turret, which again is from the Halo 3, Halo 4 likeness. Um, you get a depleted or damaged energy shield, and you get of course the new elite commander. So taking a look at the Covenant Watchtower itself, you've got these nice little silver ramps at the sides. These can move about uh, for figures to run up. You've got the nice little burgundy small ramps or whatever they are, I'm not too sure. Then you've got the little gravity emitter plates here. You've got the little gravity emitter in the centre, just to emphasise this point that this is a gravity um, funnel that is supporting this, because that is normally hovering in game, if you remember correctly. You also got this nice green little light trim that runs around this little top section. You've got the little blue gravity emitter here, which is where the elites and what grunts are meant to be able to float up and pop up on top. It is unfortunately too small for that, so it's just a skull a piece that's clipped on. Um, it's a bit of a shame that it doesn't have an actual hole in there like, say, the Phantom did. But still, otherwise, it's a great little piece. Especially, I really like these um, little spikes here. the fantastic little pieces. Um, otherwise, a great little accessory. And it's a great little army builder if you want a nice big Covenant base. Put a few of these around it. And it's a great little display piece. So taking a closer look at the figures included in this set, we have this white Spartan soldier. Now this fits with the white Spartans we got with the Revenant Raid exclusive last year. So it's a great little addition to that fire team. You also get, as you've noticed here, a fantastic new weapon, the Hydra. Now we've had this before in the fire team Stingray set. We at the SS Motion were lucky enough to find those sets um, before this one. So we've had this weapon for quite a while ourselves. But for a lot of you it's going to be a new weapon. And it's absolutely fantastic. The sculpting detail is brilliant. It fits in the hands of the figures perfectly. Um, a lot of weapons sometimes struggle with uh, being shouldered. This weapon doesn't have that problem at all. And uh, this set, I actually prefer it in because it's in a nice uh, dark grey colour. The one in Fireteam Stingray is black, which is less game accurate. So I prefer this one, and I'm glad Mega did give us a colour option for it. Uh, as you can see, the rest of it is just standard soul drama. Arms removable as expected, the articulation is standard, but it's a great little figure with a great little weapon. Definitely a nice piece to add to this little set. Now on to the bad guy of this set, it's a Covenant Elite Commander from Halo 4 and 5. This is the equivalent of an Elite Major from the previous games, they just renamed them for the Storm Elite Covenant faction. Now as you can see the armor is really highly detailed, it is of course removable as with previous Elites that we've recently got. Uh, you get a fantastic colour scheme. On the box it does have a bit of a crimson tint on the little character bio. So I hope this isn't Mega Bloks attempt at a crimson one. The crimson is more accurate to the game. But this clearly is not crimson. It is definitely brown. So I hope they don't think that colour is done. They definitely need to go back and do this. Um, but at the moment this is a fantastic elite. The armour really makes it stand out. And you get a fantastic little weapon here. Which is of course the brand new Halo 5 Fjord. Giving you a better view of the fuel rod here, you can see it's a brand new sculpt. There's nothing from the original one uh, that Mega did that's in this. Fantastic little piece. Has the sculpted ammunition counter here. It's got the flip out sight activated here, which is a fantastic little detail that they could have left off but didn't. You get a nice grip here and a nice grip here, which is great for two-handed. The Elite does struggle with it a little bit. It's just about doable. Um, it fits better with Spartans, but I do feel the Elite arms are a bit short. If I flatten it out here for you, as you can see, the arm doesn't really go very low down on the body, so I feel that is limiting his uh, grip of it a little bit. But it's still a fantastic weapon, and I hope that we see it a lot in the future. It's a great little weapon, and it's a fantastic um, rendition of the Halo 5 model. So on to the accessories of this set, we get a nice Covenant Plasma turret here which is based on the Halo 4 design as I've said, you get the nice grey painted detail on the underside of it, you get this nice chroma silver uh, stand for it, normally they're in dark grey so it's nice that we've got a different colour, you've got the gravity effect here and of course you've got the grips here to put a figure on at the back. 
It's a fantastic little piece, but I do suppose it's time for an update. Uh, there is a different one in Halo 5. It's a redesign. So I hope that they make that one at some point. But for now, this is a fantastic little piece. Um, and it will do for now. Onto the shield here, and it's a nice orange energy colour which simulates a shield that's about to collapse. That is like a battle damage shield, normally they're blue, but when they take too much damage they glow orange, then red, and then just collapse. So it's glad that Mega are giving us two representations of the energy shield. You get a nice purple emitter here. Now this is based on the um, deployable cover from Halo 3, ba well, just based solely on this design section here. That is that emitter. Um, so it is a little out of place for a Halo 4 set. Uh, these could do with being redone now so we get the larger um, Covenant shields that we see through most of the games. This is an equipment piece, not an actual energy shield technically. So I hope we do see it updated. But as it is, it's a great little piece that I'm glad to see a variant of. So otherwise, no complaints on it. So overall you get a fantastic new little set, it's a great watchtower that's been highly requested and wanted for the last few years, so it's glad that Megablox are listening to the fans, we've finally seen a new one here, and it's really well represented, you get a great figure loadout, you get some great accessories including some brand new weapons, absolutely fantastic set. I should however point out that this set is out of scale. It's about half the size of what it truly should be. As I mentioned before, you can't have any a Covenant pop up through the hole up here. It is quite under scale. Um, we reckon it should be about double the size of what it is. But obviously the part count and the price came into effect and Mega wanted to give us an affordable army builder set. As it is, it stands comparable to the previous Watchtower, which is fine. I mean, they work great. They still stand out on your battlefield displays if you have any of those. So while it is out of scale, it's still a fantastic piece that is highly recommended. Yet yeah, a great loadout of figures, great little battle piece. Absolutely recommended. So that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. We will be doing more Halo, Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed reviews in the near future. So stay tuned to the channel and for more information on BloxFest we will be making more announcements about that as we go along. So I will see you in the next video. Bye!